Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another haul for you which seems to be the most popular video on this channel so far. So I'm really excited to be bringing you another haul after quite a while. As you can tell by the title this one is entirely from Pretty Little Thing. And I do just quickly want to mention that I used a 20% off code for this haul. It is nothing to do with me, I literally just googled it and this one seemed to work. So the code that I used was PG20. I will also leave it in the description so you can come back and find it after you've watched this video. But yeah, if you want a 20% off then just check if that code will work. Fingers crossed it still works for you guys. I did order this stuff very recently so hopefully it is still an available code. But anyway, I do want to say that I did have a comment the other day asking if I could film my try on haul videos in the style that Patricia Bright films them. So so she is the main person that stands out to me that I can remember filming them like this and I do really love her videos and I do think they're super useful to film them that way. If you don't know what I'm talking about I will leave one of her videos linked down below so you can go and see how she films them. She's essentially just standing up and talking you through the clothes as she's trying them on. And I'm going to be honest with you guys I have tried to film it about four or five times and I either just can't get the background right here, I'm too far away from the camera, I'm just messing up on everything I say, so I'm just going to stick to what I know and I'm just going to film the video in the style that I did my misguided one, so I'm going to pop up the picture of the website image and then overlay that with me trying the clothes on myself so you can get a feel for what they looked like on the website and how they were advertised and then see how they actually turned out, but yeah, unfortunately I do apologise to that person that asked me if I could film them in that style, it's just stressing me out and I can't do it, so hopefully in the future I will be able to do it um, but yeah for now I'm just gonna stick to what I know as I say. Anyway enough rambling because I know you're here to see the clothes so I'm just gonna get straight on with this video. So I did pick up a couple of pairs of glasses the first being this Celine knockoff style of sunglasses. I absolutely love these and I think they are such a good knockoff. If I just bring these closer up you will be able to see that there's kind of a two-tone effect going on around the frame so they're a lot clearer at the bottom and then they're obviously just black acrylic throughout the whole rest of the sunglasses. Obviously these are just in one size but I am going to leave all of the prices and the sizes that I picked everything up in in the corner of the video so I don't have to worry about constantly saying that because most is in a size 10 anyway. So I'm just going to leave the prices. I will also leave the 20% off and the full price so obviously if you don't get the 20% off you're going to know how much they were without that. Anyway back to the glasses. These are what they look like on and as you can see they almost cover my entire face so I could easily just go out anywhere with no makeup on and these are also so perfect for holidays as they are really inexpensive from what I remember so these would be the type of glasses that you wouldn't mind getting kind of scratched up but they still look really cool so yeah loving these and hopefully we will get some kind of sun here in the UK we are now in autumn winter so the weather's just getting so disgusting and then the next pair of glasses I picked up are very pointless as they are just completely clear frames but they are these aviator style glasses which I'm sure you would have seen absolutely everywhere I feel like everyone's now got these as prescription glasses so they're probably going to be around for much longer but I thought I picked myself up a pair not really sure why not really sure what for but I did so <laughs> these are what these look like on I did actually recently get my eyes tested and I need to update my prescription so I need to update my glasses and the ones I picked out were an aviator style they weren't this kind of just simple gold frame they're a bit of a thicker frame and they are a two-toned effect so I need to pick them up ASAP because they've been ready for ages and I just haven't picked them up but besides the point I picked up this pair just mainly for Instagram pictures I suppose because that's all the use I have for them because otherwise they're just clear frames and they're very useless but yeah they are those aviator style so now on to clothes I have them all in a massive pile down here as per usual and I'm just going to pick out something and show it to you I'm also just going to quickly scooch over to this side so I have room for the try on clips over here so the first thing I've picked out is this little skirt now I would personally call this an a-line shape skirt but in one of my previous hauls someone said that I had the wrong idea of what an a-line is so please do correct me if I'm wrong but I would say that a skirt like this is an a-line where it's like tight at the waist and then it just really skims over your hips and that's all it does because it's kind of in the shape of an a I don't know I could be completely wrong or that person's wrong so please do let me know down below if this is or isn't an a-line skirt but yeah i just was really drawn to the color of this it does look quite dull on camera 
but it's a kind of taupe colour and in person it is a little bit more purpley than on camera. It's not obvious purple, it's just more of a purpley taupe and on camera it looks very grey. Also really impressed with the quality of this, it's that faux suede which just feels super super soft. So really love this and perfect for this time of year when you have those days where it's still a little bit humid but it's definitely not warm enough to go just with a skirt. So I thought I'd pick that up and I could pair it with knee high boots or even tights if I, no I don't like tights so I wouldn't do that. So another skirt I picked up is this little one here. I really love the concept of this and what it looks like on the model and what it would look like if I could do it up. So I know that I did get this in a size 10 and that's my size. So I am really annoyed that this doesn't do up at all. I literally have to pull this up to under my boobs because that's the smallest part of my middle. And then even then I can't fully do this up. I feel like Pretty Little Thing are a little bit guilty of thinking everybody has the tiniest waist in the world when we don't and we are all normal size girls. And this as a size 10 is definitely not a size 10 waist. So if you do like the look of this skirt, then please do size up because I'm sure it comes up small on everyone. But yeah, it's just this little polka dot ruffle skirt with this layer of a ruffle over here as well. And I love it, but as I say, I just can't do it up. So it's just not wearable at all. It feels like an eight. Whenever I'm here on my own, I always hear like noises. And you know when you just kind of psych yourself up and it really freaks you out? That's what I'm doing right now. Anyway, moving on. So this dress is one of the reasons why I like to put the website picture up and then actually show you the item because on the website, this does look a little bit more structured than in person. But essentially it is just a mini bandeau red dress. And this just feels very cheap. It doesn't feel like very good quality and it feels like that material that just isn't really gonna do much for your figure. So I am quite intrigued to see what this is gonna look like on. But yeah, first impressions, I'm not overly impressed. It's also that crepe material, which can either be really itchy or okay. So I'm hoping this is gonna be okay. But yeah, I need to try that one on and see what it looks like. I do love the color, however. I think that goes really, really nicely with the tan. And if you haven't noticed, I have dyed my hair. A little backstory to that is that basically a while ago I wanted to go blonde so I got my boyfriend's mum to dye my hair and obviously I was probably nearer this colour than I was lighter brown before I tried to do that so I just had this kind of halo of black around this like bleach blonde hair and even then it was like yellow blonde it wasn't blonde at all so yeah we turned that around quickly and i dyed my hair back to dark brown the day after but obviously after a while because it was bleached the dye just started to wear off so i was kind of going a bit orange on the ends but then also a bit green in places so i just needed to sort it out i was doing my head in so i've just gone back to completely dark brown and obviously where the ends were blonde they've gone a lot darker than my roots boring but yeah i do think that color goes really well with a dark hair as well so i'm going to quickly show you this dress as well after showing you that one because i just have the same issue with this dress online it looks so so structured and like it's just gonna hug you and make you look amazing and then you get it and it's like what is this? It's so flimsy and just feels so cheap. It is really soft, however, it's the same kind of faux suede as the skirt was, but as you can see, it's just really horribly made. Like all of this is just completely wrinkled. The stitching is not even at all. And I keep hearing things. And yeah, just one of them pieces that I feel very misled by and looks totally different on the website. Also, going from that polka dot skirt that was a size 10 that I can't do up, this is a size 10. Does this not look really big to anyone else? And I have actually tried this one on and as I thought it does nothing for my figure and just looks like I'm shoving on a purple paper bag. But yeah, I'm really not impressed by this and just think it's way oversized for a size 10. So pretty little thing, you need to sort your sizing out because it's either way too small or way too big. What's going on? As I said in my last video, I'm using the Sony A5000 and there is a little temperature sign flashing up at me. So I'm just gonna quickly let my phone cool down because clearly it's been working too hard after filming for 12 minutes. And I will be back in a minute to show you the rest of the clothes. Okay, so I'm back and with a smoothie. So excuse my drinking breaks during this rest of this video. So the next thing that I picked up, now this funny story, well it's not funny at all, it's actually really annoying, but I actually ordered this in a two piece set and instead of being sent the trousers, I was just sent two of the tops, so that's cool. But I will insert a picture of what the two piece set looked like, but this is the little top in it that I was sent and obviously I have two of these. One of which, by the way, stinks of BO and it doesn't like smell like BO's in, in the armpits, like someone's worn it. Just the whole thing smells like 
fits to be honest but anyway i do really love the top and i also love the material that this is made out of it's like a really really soft it's like a really really soft jersey material and then it just turns into a kind of racer back in the back of it but this is obviously just a kind of sports bra bralette style top which as i say was meant to go with those trousers that you would have just seen which were high-waisted and i just love what tops like this and high-waisted pants look like. Pants, am I American? Trousers look like. But yeah, unfortunately they never arrived, so I just have two of these tops. Also from what I can remember, as I say, all prices will be on screen, but this top was something like 16 pounds full price, which is so expensive for this top. It's literally a bralette. You wouldn't think that you'd be paying 16 pound on a website like Pretty Little Thing for a little bralette like this. I do think that it is quite overpriced and that they're just making money off the fact that you would buy two pieces because it's obviously a two piece set. I just feel like that's a way of making money off two items. I don't know, but I just know that it is pretty overpriced for a little bralette. So the next top I'll talk about now, otherwise I'll forget, and it is this one that I'm wearing right now. Obviously you can see the sleeves and then it just goes into a little black bralette. At the bottom, obviously I'll insert the full size try on clip as well as the website image so you can see it better. But yeah, love this top. I'm wearing it without a bra and I'm more than secure in this. It is double lined as well as being that kind of, I don't really know how you describe this material, but it's very thick, put it that way. And then for it to be double lined just keeps it really supported. And again, I would wear this with high-waisted trousers or something like that and yeah love this top so this next thing i have already worn to an event that i went to on friday and i love this so much i picked this up because i saw jordan's haul and she bought something very similar to this so i saw this one and wanted to pick it up but it is essentially a jumpsuit and it is off the shoulder at the top here and then the thing i love about it is that this detailing here in the front so there's obviously drawstrings down there which you can pull to make this tighter and then it goes down into a little cutout which kind of sits just under your rib cage i would say and then the bottoms just go down into straight wide leg trousers can you not yeah it just goes down into straight leg trousers at the bottom and this is just so flattering and one of them things you can just throw on and feel good and look good in without making too much effort and it's obviously super comfy being a jumpsuit the one thing i would say is that this has a pretty unflattering seam running down your um private area and i just don't get why places do that with stuff like this because obviously if you pull it up to kind of sit tight on your bum you're then pulling that seam up and it just gives a really bad case of camel toe so just be aware of that when buying this i wish they just put these seams on either side of like your leg but yeah there is a seam running straight up the middle of it which can be unflattering but if you wear it the right way it's not too bad so next is this dress which to be fair i know i hated the other ones but i actually really do like this dress mainly because of the material it is it feels like a really good quality material and it again is like this top that i'm wearing now and is quite a tight material so it just feels like it's gonna suck you in and make you look really good this is an item that i haven't tried on Yet, so I am a bit nervous to see if these straps being so close together is really going to either unflatter me or look quite nice but I was drawn to the straight neckline on this and I did also pick up a black bodysuit with a straight neckline which I won't show you because it's very boring but yeah just a really simple black body with pretty much exactly the same neckline as this. Another thing that I love about this as you would know from my other hauls is that it kind of goes in at the middle under your bust and then it comes out again where your hips would be. I really prefer when dresses are kind of already shaped like this because I think they just sit so much nicer on any figure and really accentuate your figure if you do have a kind of big bum, big hips and a smaller waist. I think that this style of dress is really going to flatter that because it will just sit so nicely. So yeah, that is that dress, which again, you can either dress up to go out in with a pair of heels or dress down with some trainers or some knee highs and a denim jacket or something like that. Speaking of denim jackets, this next thing is a denim jacket. So I picked this up mainly because... I loved the distress detail on it first of all. The collar is super, super distressed, which I just think is really cool. But then the thing that I love about it, I don't really know if my armpits are shaved, so I do apologize if I'm lifting my armpits up and they're not pretty. But the thing I loved most about this was the fact that it's actually a long line one. So this goes beyond my bum, which means that I can wear leggings and a kind of, not a crop top, but a jumper or something that doesn't necessarily cover my bum. But then if I throw this on, my bum will still be covered because I'm not about that wearing leggings and having my bum out. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not about wearing leggings and not having anything covering my bum at all. So I thought something like this would be perfect. And 
and then as I say with that dress that I just showed you I think this will look really cute over the top like wearing it off the shoulder so yeah love this and it's really not that expensive especially with the 20% off for a denim jacket so grab one of these if you are interested right we are getting there I promise <laughs> so this next top is just a really simple cropped tank which is just a white outlined black like crop top with a v-neckline in the front and yeah there's not really a lot to say about this I just thought this would be cute for layering on those semi warm days that we kind of seem to get here in autumn but anything high waisted and then a big coat over the top this is just a really cute basic to have in anybody's wardrobe so I picked that one up and then sticking with the whole black and white theme I also sorry I have tried these on so they're inside out but these trousers are another thing that I I grabbed and I love these so much these fit so nicely and look so good on and I was a bit skeptical because the sizing of these are just small medium large and I do always think with sizing like that there's a lot of sizes that you've got to fit into that category so I picked these up in a medium and they do fit me really well and I'm typically a size 10 so I think a small would be anything from like a 0 to a 6 or an 8 pushing it maybe and then the medium would probably be a 10 to a 12 14 and then large I suppose it would be anything onwards but then I feel like there's so many sizes within that that just to have three categories being small, medium, large is quite risky. But anyway, for me personally these do fit me and I'm a size 10 so if you have my same shape of body type and you're a size 10 then these will fit you in the same way they do me in the try on. But either way I do love these as I say. They are basically just black cigarette style trousers with white panels down either side again sticking with the whole sporty stripe theme. Just love them. They do also feel like they are made really well and um, from what I can remember they aren't too expensive again so love them. Now this is something that I wouldn't necessarily show you just because it's so boring and simple but I am going to show it to you just because it's another prime example of the website making things look totally different to what they are in person. So essentially this is just literally a white bandeau top but as you'll see from the website image this looks like it would be structured, it would pull you in, you could wear it without a bra maybe. Um, and yeah, I got it and it's just a piece of material sewn together. Literally, that is all it is. And I think for the price this was, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm guessing that this was very overpriced for what this is. Head to Primark if you want a bandeau like this because they'll honestly be about a pound and that was probably near a three or four pound from what I can remember. Not worth it, just gonna say that. Oh, and also on that theme, here's another top that is exactly the same issue. Again, head to Primark if you want something like this because this, I think, full price was five or six pounds. And again, it's just a see-through piece of material. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see my hand through this, but yeah, it is pretty see-through and online it did look very structured and I was really excited to get this top. I thought it was gonna be a lot like this one and the material that this one is made out of, but no, I can tell you it's not. It's just a really kind of t-shirt material that is just, not worth it. So onto something that I do really love and I'm really impressed by is this top here which as you can see will give you exactly the same kind of vibes as the jumpsuit did, the top of the jumpsuit. It has that, I don't think it's like a corset detail but it's like a tie detail in front that you obviously pull the drawstrings again to make it tighter and shorter at the front and then at the back it is simply just a mesh back. The front is obviously lined so you can wear this braless. I personally wear it braless. The ruching in the front hides your nipples if you have an issue with that. I just personally think this is really, really well made. I love the feel of it and the quality just feels really good. Also, the elastic in the arms is perfect. You can lift your arms up in this and it doesn't ping up, but then at the same time, it also is not falling down at all. So yeah, this is probably my favorite piece out of this haul, just because as I say, the quality is really really nice and I feel like this is going to go with a lot of things whether it be for night out outfits or day to day outfits I think you're going to be seeing that a lot and then the final thing I picked up is another one of my favourite things from this haul I have already taken pictures in this so I will insert them now and as you can see it is just this huge oversized jumper dress in this really gorgeous pink color now i don't actually have anything in my wardrobe this color but i do love it especially again with the dark hair i think this is going to go really really nicely so i thought this would just be so cozy over this time of year especially just to be able to throw on and not have to worry about anything you're going to be warm and cozy in it but also still look like you tried do you know what i mean absolutely obsessed with this and the sleeves are the coziest part about it so they are cuffed at the bottom and then they're just a lot more baggy up here 
which just makes them so like snuggly and I just love it. I love this piece so much and I'm sure again there will be a lot of wear out of this over this time of year. Okay, so that is everything for this haul. Again, apologies, it's always going to be a long one when I'm hauling things. Oh, just quickly, I did also order some thigh high boots, which again I will insert pictures of just because they're in the other room right now and I'm really freaking lazy and I can't bother to go and get them. But it will be easier for you to see them on anyway. So as I say, I will insert pictures of them right now so you can see them. But I did also pick them up as I very mistakenly a while ago while shopping on Oxford Street, I went into Russell and Bromley and I tried on some Stuart Wiseman over the knee boots and they were a dream. But unfortunately they're like... 600 pound and i'm just not in the position to just work out 600 pound for a pair of boots so they're staying in the shop for now and staying as a dream but ever since then i've always thought i just really want some thigh high boots so now autumn winter's rolled back around i thought i just have to bite the bullet and just pick myself up a pair and just see what these ones are like because they have the drawstring at the back so i thought they would stay up a lot easier now they do kind of fall down a little bit but they are really good quality for the price that they are so i'd 100 percent recommend them but but otherwise that is everything for this haul and everything that I have to show you guys so I promise next time hopefully I can film these style of videos like Patricia Bright does them and kind of standing up and talking you through the clothes as I'm trying them on so yeah I will keep you posted on that and filming backgrounds etc but for now I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was okay to film it like this as always let me know down below what your favorite piece from the haul was and yeah I'm gonna wrap this up here because I feel like this is gonna be really really long and it's gonna take me so long to edit so yeah I'm gonna shut up now and leave you guys to it thank you so much for watching as always and I will speak to you guys very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs> <laughs>